Good evening, ma'am. So for today's video, I'm going to present my understanding on the different security settings for data and application security um, in or through video presentation. So, what we can see in the screen is the picture of an attack surface. So, by reducing the attack surface, on the server you can also reduce the chance that the hacker is being able to access your server so but how you can reduce the attack surface on your server that is the question there being raised so um, according to the video as what I have understood um, the video which is the tutorial um, by using Microsoft Security Configuration Wizard, uh, you can totally protect and overcome the attack surface being um, able to reach out by the hackers. So, the Security Configuration Wizard is helpful in the long process so but first let us know the process by which your computer is more secure so this is called as hardening um, and let's go back to the SCW or security configuration wizard so what we can see in this picture is the server that is being uh, accessed by the unauthorized user or the hacker but the access is getting denied because there is a wall so that wall represents the firewall so the firewall also contributes to protecting the server uh, by the hacker so the hacker cannot get inside or exploit some data because there is a firewall so by that we can see that or we can tell that the security configuration wizard has a firewall configured on it so it allows administrators in customizing network security policies audit policies registry values and services it also corresponds into three main components um, the command line interface, a wizard interface, and a security configuration database. So what we can see in the next slide is the procedure of configuring security configuration wizard. So these uh, are the steps wherein you can configure the wizard. So the, again, the SCW according on my understanding is already built in in your system you just have to configure some of those settings uh, just simply restart your PC so that afterwards it will work and then again these are the steps so the topic number three is about security policies but first the speaker on the tutorial that I have watched he firstly define what is a policy. According to him, a policy is a deliberate system of principles to guide decisions and achieve rational outcomes. Are also generally adopted by a governance body within an organization and can assist in both subjective and objective decision making. But the main um, topic is about security policy. It's not just a policy but a security policy. So by definition, as stated there, a security policy refers to a well-defined plans, rules, and practices that has access to an organization system. It is written in a document form and the organization outlines on how to protect the organization including computer security threats and how to handle situations when they do occur in the near future. And a security policy must identify all of the company's assets as well as all those 
potential threats to the assets and there is something stated also that a good policy protects not only information and system but also individual and employees as well as the organization is or in general or as a whole so you should implement also a good security policy so that um, not only one can be or will be will benefit that one but the organization in general there are also types of security policies as you can see on the screen and the email policy is defined as an official company document that details acceptable use of your organization's email system and it indicates to whom and from whom emails can be sent or received and it defines what constitutes appropriate content for your work email so email policy is under uh, on the security policies and this slide this shows the process on how to install security compliance manager um, version 4 so the security compliance manager is being set up in this uh, image I will not just give the detailed one because it will make it this more complicated. So, ECM is also part of security policies. Next topic is the data security. In data security, there is what they call as application security. Application security is the process of creating, integrating, and testing security measures into applications in order to protect them from dangers like illegal access and alteration. So the, the importance of application security is that it can expose application level flows assisting in the prevention of the attacks. And there is what they call as encryption and decryption. So the encryption is a process of scrambling of, or changing a message to hide it. Well, the description is the unscrambling messages to make it readable. So, therefore, we can simply elaborate which one is better and which is not. So, you just have to find out what is your uh, preference. Next is the symmetric and asymmetric. The differ their difference is that symmetric is when the sender and receiver share the same key to scramble and unscramble the message while asymmetric uses a public key that can be exchanged with anybody and a private key that is not shared so moreover is the public key and private key public key can be shared with anybody so that anybody can encrypt a message there and while uh, the private key it can only be decrypted by a computer with or whom has the access to it. Next topic is the security monitoring. New hazards are constantly present for security and operations monitoring teams to be concerned about. So as a result, they must continually improve how these hazards are discovered and remediated in the future. That's why security monitoring exists because it is your job as you are a part of the security monitoring team in security command center first is you must identify the threats from your employees then the second st step or stage is the possible data access from the cloud provider employees and then also you should know the external threats that is lurking in your system there is a recommendation according to my understanding on this topic that um, in order to resolve this issue, Google collaborates closely with the leading security companies in order to make connectivity between these products and the Cloud Security Command Center. So by then, they also add additional cards to link with partners like Palo Alto Networks, CrowdStrike, Cloudflare, and Redlock to provide 
you with a complete protection. And Google Cloud team is also working closely with a growing ecosystem of security partners of Google Cloud in order to ensure that the customers have access to the finest tools to resolve the issues like those mentioned above. And for the last topic, which is the group policy, uh, my understanding here is that the group policy or GPOs may also be used by the ad administrators to change a variety of security protocols and practices such as limiting the internet connection options, programs, and even screen time. And then when implemented effectively, the group policies may help you strengthen the security of your users, PCs, and guard against both insider and external threats. So, um, if I will going to summarize uh, my understanding. Um, the, the group policy is just the same as Security Configuration Wizard, uh, Google Cloud, Security, and any other platforms. But their difference is that a group policy and this Security Configuration Wizard is uh, built in on your computer or your operating system. You just need and have to configure it in the settings to find out their usefulness while in the google cloud security command center uh, you need internet access so that you can configure the settings so that's all uh, that's my uh, overall understanding of this um, overall topic uh, the different security settings for data and application security so, thank you so much ma'am and good evening.